I see you, Quee Quee. Attack, 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 attack. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last part, we got to Farron Woods. We uh, found these Kikui things. And now, based on facts, we have to find the Elder. But before we do that, oh, that was close. We actually want to move this log down because, as I said in the last episode, that would create a shortcut. It also gets us this Amber Relic. If you're playing this game normally, this will be the first treasure you'll get. And it'll give you a little, uh, tutorial on treasures. But, as for now, we're gonna go back to where we were, so we can hope to find the Elder. Which apparently has Zelda's scent. Very, very ladylike Elder. I suppose. Anyways, uh, there's lots of different ways to go in this forest. So, usually what I like to do is not go on the path that the game tells us to go to. But, right now, it seems like that'll be the best thing. So let's just do it. There's a safe thing right here. In the woods. Wouldn't the whole area just be in the woods? No, but examining, all you have to do is examine them. And if you do, then whenever you go back to the sky, you will be able to go back up there. Immediately. With your uh, bird statues. So even if you don't want to save, it's always good to examine any bird statue you find. And we can actually kill this guy quite comically with this boulder. Die! It took a lot longer than I thought it would. Anyways, these usually have hearts in them? No. Okay. And oh, what was that? Oh gosh! It's a guy. Die! I actually haven't gotten hit by them yet, but if I do, they will take off a lot of damage. So you don't want to do that. Any rupees? Not that I really care. There's a grasshopper there. Those little pellet things, though, if you touch them, just direct contact with your body, they will explode, which is bad. So don't touch them. We actually sneak up behind this guy, do a jump attack, knock him over, and do a fatal blow. So if you don't want to fight them directly, you can cleverly find a way to sneak up behind them. Anyways, I think I took the wrong route here. Possibly? Yeah, I did. We actually have to go around this way. Okay, I was wrong. We actually just have to follow this path that we took before. I don't know why it didn't. Ooh, look, a new enemy. Ugh. Very hard to explain, but these guys, all they do is shoot pellets at you. You have to deflect them with your shield. They're basically the tutorial enemy for, you know, getting timing down with your shield. But we won't have many bad encounters with enemies since I'm pretty good at this game that I, I find. That may just be because I'm being cheated to these Baka buttons, jeez. Keep sneaking up on them. Anyways, you want to do that kind of as a checkpoint. Uh, if you're... If you, uh, don't turn the game off and on, and the other treasures that you get, they won't give you a little dialog box. It'll just say, uh, a little icon above your head. Oh, dodge. You also hit them with your sword, but, um, that's a lot harder to do, and you also just to do it just right, so you can deflect the pellet. Uh, what? Did that thing just move? Oh well. Where we have to go though... Oh! Wow, there was one there. I don't care. You can't actually kill them by cutting their leaves, which is weird. You have to wait till they poke their head out, but we're not even gonna wait for that. We're gonna... Oh! You can actually stab at these guys, but it does half the damage, so it takes two stab hits to kill them. But stab hits uh, will hit them either either way their head's facing, so it's a good strategy. <gasps> what in the world is this? In a Zelda game, a big... Well, you know what it is. Apparently Zelda is inside of it, so that thing... Zelda's been leaning on the pounds. Oh my god. I am Puka, the Kikui Elder. I saw the way you spotted me through my ingenious camouflage. Yes, looking like a big dirt mound. Kui, you are clearly a master woodsman. Where is Elsa? 
<laughs> we just want to know where Zelda is. Zelda? Ah, the girl creature with the blonde hair. She looked like one of your kind. Yeah, she was with me. Queer. Oh, wow, 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 Look at his eyes. It looks like he has a mask, like from The Incredibles or something like that. And then his goatee just goes all the way down. And he doesn't have a mouth. But now is not the time for such talk. The woods are full of monsters. I am worried about my missing tribe. Kui. <laughs> look, he's, he says Kui so thoughtfully, like Kui Kui. The shock and worry has made my memories of the girl quite hazy. What? You say you've met some of my people? Kui? Kui. So much is safe, eh? So much Kui. It's like we, but with a K. Ah, but the monsters, they are still looking in the forest. I don't dare leave this spot. Does he have a bald spot? Okay, rewind the video to like a couple seconds ago. It looks like he has a bald spot on top of his head. Three Kikwis are still unaccounted for. Could I ask you to search for them and make sure they are safe? Kui? Question mark? I'm worried sick for my fellow Kikwis. If you could calm my fears, I might be able to remember more about where the girl you seek went off to. Kui. What do you mean you might be able to remember? I think he just wants us to do that. Look at his punchy little legs. Learning that Zelda's no longer with the Kikui Alta is an unfortunate setback, but this he may still have useful information. Taking this into account, I calculated an 85%. It's always 85%, isn't it, with Fee? Your quest will be aided if you find the lost Kikuis for the Elder. To expedite your search for the forest dwelling creatures, I've added Kikuis as a dowsing option. Somehow. I, th I thought they were Zelda. No, I don't need to have... Uh, didn't we learn that anyways? <laughs> yes, not only will she let you douse, but they're on the map too, so you're basically... There's no way you won't be able to find these Kikwis, but as you probably heard, we have to do hide and seek for these Kikwis. Except with dowsing superpowers. Anyways, the first one... Oh, I'm dowsing for the wrong target. There we go. First one we want to get over there, it looks like, so... Toronimo! It's probably safe to open your parachute. <laughs> Not parachute. It is exactly like a parachute. Your sailcloth when you fall off cliffs. But if it's a very small cliff like that, you can just do a dive roll on the ground. I don't really know how that works in real life, but I guess it kind of works in real Dude, bro, get back out. Uh. Luckily, though, we have not taken any damage in the forest yet, or have gotten any damage to our shield, which is very good because I'm very OCD about my shield. If it gets damaged once, I'll be like, oh, I don't care anymore, and I'll put it away so I don't have to see that insufferable logo of insufferableness. Anyways, I, I don't know why I'm hitting all this grass, it's just kind of instinct. The way I tend to play games is kind of slowly, kind of just waddle around, enjoy it, take all the enjoyment out of it. But, uh, I understand that's not the most exciting thing, so I have to get out of these bad habits. Ooh, from behind. Not very, not very good. For some reason, these enemies seem easier than I remember. But it does take three hits to kill them, so can't just go lunging at them. I'll hit this beetle. We can actually get a beetle here without the bug net. If you roll into a wall and a bug is on it, you can actually just kind of collect it because I don't. I guess you kill it or something like that. I don't know, but that's how it is. Um. Okay, stop hitting the grass. There, I always hit the grass. Anyways, our first Kikui. Ooh, there's an evil bird there. I don't want to go there. Is up here. We need to go through a little obstacle course of sorts to get to it. We have to climb on these vines, which look very cool, actually. Look, there's the stamina fruit over here. In case you lose stamina, because Link, he is fit, but clinging onto vines is hard. Anyways, oh, this is so weird. Look, we can't we can't actually touch it, right? We can slash it and do all that we want. But it actually thinks it's still hidden and will move to any grass that is still exposed. So for some reason, we have to break all the grass. This is so weird. Only Japan would think of something like this. Anyways, let's try the last gr grass blade left. It's gonna be like dot dot dot. Like uh oh. Whoa, look at that face. It's like the Elder, except with a smaller goatee thing. I've been discovered, and here I thought I had a good hiding place. We... I'm Erla. You won't find another Kikui in these woods that's half as good as hiding as I am. Except the Elder, of course. Kui, it's funny. Because he just, like, stuck out. Actually, this person was way better at hiding. 
I have marked the location of Urla, the Kikui on your map. However, dowsing beads indicate there are still Kikuis to look, search for. Yes, this is the first one we found. You met the Elder, and he's okay? Phew, glad to hear it. Kui, if you see him again, would you please tell him I'm here? Sure, why not? Uh. Anyways, let's do an epic dive roll off the cliff. Into the tree, possibly? No. Kind of cheated, did an extra little roll there, but as you can see, the next Kikui is over there. So I'm actually going to go around this way, because this way is very cool. You can hear these annoying uh, ravens. No, they're not keys. They're called gways, I think. Yeah. It just ends droppings upon... <laughs> what that means is it basically poos on you. <laughs> I calculate the probability of your intense aggravation at 100%. Uh, sure. Slightly strong. Oh, what? Yes, um, they're very hard to hit with your sword. Uh, the main way you want to hit them now is just with the Skyward Strike when they come down to the ground like that. But for now, don't even try to hit them. It's not worth it. Because they will, uh, what did she say? Excrete droppings on you, something like that. Not good. Are they following me? Stop. They're so annoying, though. They sound like actual ravens. But they're... You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, let's uh, test out my Goddess Strike here. Yeah, as you can see, since our Goddess Strike is full power in hero mode, it will just take them out in one hit. So it might be a good get way to deal with them if you're scared about dealing with them. Anyways, we have to go over there, but this is not the right way to get there. We actually... Woohoo. Have to go in here, and actually in here is good. Because it gives us another chance to get the thing that I missed. And how do I actually get in there? Uh, do I have to go all the w Do I- What? Okay, I'm gonna try to figure out where to go, because I'm not entirely sure. Whoa! I did not see that guy. That guy, as you can see, takes off two hearts of damage. Do not get hurt by them. And if you have re revitalizing motions like me, since we don't have a fairy, which is actually very useful, you want to make sure you're using your shield at all times. And anyways, where we want to go is the other Kikui is in here. And luckily, speaking of fairies, uh, this gives me another chance to get that fairy that I missed last time. So let me make sure I have the right pot. Oh, I have glittering spores! <sighs> okay, I'm sorry about this, guys, but I do have to waste the glittering spores. So, uh, let me just use them all. As you can see, they make the air all glittery. Any, any enemy that's in here will get dazed. They're not too useful though, because while the enemies do get dazed, I mean, it's only five uses, and frankly, you can daze enemies with your shield, that's the most effective way to do it, but we can make the world our, all sparkly, right? That's an upside. Anyways, your fairy is gonna be in here every time you restart the game. So, we got a fairy, six of our hearts. But the cool thing is, if you die, which you might do, it will heal you automatically. Which is very big, because since enemies do a lot more damage, a lot easier to die. Anyways, what we need to do here is get across this tight rope with using our weird mode plus. But we don't want these things to actually get on us. So we want to uh, jostle them off. Or if you don't want to do that, you can just hang on like this. Alternatively, though, you can, as I said, just jostle them by shaking. And they'll get off. So let's just continue on our merry way. It's to tight rope walks, a lot of people have trouble with it. Basically, just move your Wii Remote left and right, left and right, because even if you think, oh, it's perfectly vertical, it's really not. They do it that way just so it doesn't work. Which is me, I know. That's how it is. Uh, sitting on anything will restore your heart, so it's a very good idea to do in uh, Goddess Mode. Anyways, a new enemy. A Bogoplin, but with a horn and a blue mask. He will summon other Bogoplins, and unless you kill him quickly, you can do it the same to other ones. Uh, he can, sorry, he can do the same again. They also have more health than regular ones, and you'd think that the other guys would be smart enough to attack me right now, but they're not, they're just standing there like idiots. So I can just kill them all in, like, a quick flurry of attacks. But after we do that, Kikui! We see one of the other Kikwis that we are dowsing. He fought out those red guys, does that mean you're a good guy? See, I got this problem, my legs are turned to jelly and I can't get down. Think you can help me, Kui? I detect no monsters in the immediate area, and therefore conclude it is safe for the Kikui to leave its perch. 
I suggest you find a way to expedite. She just loves the word expedite. Anyways, uh, we can press 2 to see available actions. It's actually a hint because uh, it says we can roll by shaking while dashing. So we're going to do that right now. Woo! <laughs> yes. And a good way to get things out of trees is just push them down. They may face plant, but it'll be an epic face plant. Ouch, that was, uh, effective. Anyways, thank you, I'm saved. Keep a leap. Really, the other was worried about me? Well, I'm glad to hear you're saved. Kikwu. Kiku. My name's Lopsa. Don't remember these names, by the way, they're useless. If you see the elder, please tell him where I am. Oh, Kui, my legs are still shaking. See, at least, unlike the other guy, this one has the decency to keep standing up. But he does have the jolly legs. I brought the location of Lopsa, but there's one more Kikwu to search for. And we, are, we will continue searching for the Kikwis in the next episode. So, yes, I know, I keep doing abrupt endings like this, but with no time limit, very hard to plan. So, in the next episode, we are going to look for the last Kikwi and get back to the Elder. Hopefully, he'll tell us where Zelda is, because that will apparently refresh his memory. Anyways, you want to make sure to push this log for a shortcut, and I'll see you guys then. Oh, wow, 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 wow.